Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Life of a Dreamer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. My name is Darian Wright. It's been so long since I've seen you guys. So I just wanted to come back with a quick video about my celery juice. Since I get so many questions about it, I just wanted to share my recipe with you guys. So stay tuned if you're interested. So as you know, if you're a subscriber, I am a Segan. If you don't know what that means, I will link the video up above for you guys so you can watch and find out what that means. But I'm always interested in like the new health craze, what's going on, what have people discovered is healthy for us, and things that I can incorporate into my lifestyle. And lately I noticed the trend of the celery juice. I thought it was really cool. I love celery. I thought I'd try it on my own and try to incorporate it into my morning routine. So I just want to give you guys a few health benefits of celery or the celery juice before I show you guys my recipe and how I make it. So we all know that celery is like full of water, so it's really good for high cholesterol to help lower your cholesterol if you drink it often. Um, it's detoxifying, it's anti-inflammatory, and so what that means is any inflammation that's going on in your body is going to help calm that down, especially like acne, eczema, um, acid reflux, and also bloating. And I can tell you from personal experience, TMI, but my last period I was not bloated. And I've been drinking this celery water for about maybe two, two and a half weeks now, and I definitely notice a difference. I have so much energy. I feel just like light and just, it feels really good. So um, there's also a lot of antioxidants. It's detoxifying, it's full of uh, magnesium and potassium and vitamin K, which is good for heart and bone um, health. So it also, you know, helps with the high blood pressure, which a lot of people who have been drinking it have been seeing a difference. I've been getting my mom to drink it and she's also seen a difference in her high blood pressure and also her energy. She has more energy in the morning and also she doesn't need coffee like she used to, which is great because she used to drink like three cups in the morning. So I'm so glad I've got her to start drinking this. Now she switched to like Tai Chi, uh, chai tea in the morning <laughs> but she loves the way the celery juice tastes and how it makes her feel um it's also good because it has bioactive flavonoids which help prevent and um get rid of cancer and along with all the detoxifying properties it's also good for weight loss um i can personally say it leaves me feeling very full in the morning so i don't really eat breakfast anymore i will drink this along with some of the other ingredients that i put in the celery juice helps me to kind of like, I don't want to say skip breakfast, but I don't need a full breakfast like I used to eat in the morning. I drink this celery juice and I'm good to go um, depending on uh, like when I intermittent fast, depending on when I need to eat my first meal, this will be my first meal because it just carries me through the day, even into working out. I will let you guys know though, through juicing celery, it does lose its fiber and fiber, put simply, is the thing that helps you poop. <laughs> it's in like apples, it's in a lot of fruits and some vegetables. It basically pushes your food through your digestive tract and, and kind of helps clean it out. And since you are juicing the celery, you lose that fiber. But I mean, if you're like me and you eat a ton of celery anyway, you're still getting those benefits. So there's nothing to worry about. So we're in my kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how I make my celery juice. I make it every morning. I love drinking it. It's like this fresh taste, kind of like grass, but like in a good way. <laughs> But I'm gonna show you guys my special recipe because when I first started making this based off of like other people's videos and recipes Most of them just use straight celery and water and that's really disgusting and it's like kind of bitter It's just like a strong taste So I wanted to add some like sweetness to mine and also some things that like have health benefits And just kind of give me energy throughout the day since it's like the first meal or the first thing I drink in my morning to like give me a boost for the rest of the day So here are the things you guys are gonna need So first you're going to need to cut off the ends of your celery just to separate them and then we're going to wash them in some warm water to get off any of that dirt and like any pesticides or anything that just like left from being in the plastic bag while it's in the store. They're usually pretty dirty which is fine you just clean it off and it comes off easily with hot water. I just like to scrub each one to make sure I get it really really clean. 
So another thing that I didn't show on camera is that if there's like dirty pieces like this, I like to take a potato peeler and like scrape them off, but this is kind of like all the way down in there, so I'm just gonna cut it off. So next, I'm just gonna cut off any parts of the celery that I don't like. I usually cut off the little ends, and I'll just try to cut each stalk of celery into a smaller piece that will fit into the blender. And like I said, I like to snack on celery, so I already have my pieces ready just to grab on the go or just to make more celery juice the next morning. Now that I have all of my celery cut up, I'm gonna take a few pieces and add them to the blender cup. I don't really measure anything, I just grab a few and kinda eyeball it. Next, I'm gonna add my filtered water to the cup. You wanna fill it up to about three-fourths full just so you have room for things to move around in there and you don't want your cup overflowing after you add the rest of your ingredients. Now I'm gonna add my organic apple cider vinegar. Make sure you shake it up because whatever that mother is is the stuff that gathers at the bottom, so make sure you shake it up. I'm gonna add one and a half to two spoonfuls of the apple cider vinegar, just depending on how I feel that day. And then we're gonna blend it all up. Sometimes your pieces of celery will get stuck in the blender. Just take it out and shake it up for a second. That'll loosen them up. I like to let my celery juice sit for a minute or two just because that celery that's been blended is gonna separate from the juice. As you can see, the juice is at the bottom. And that just makes it faster and easier to strain when you let them separate. So you're gonna take your hand strainer and I kinda just like to prop mine up on the magic bullet so that it doesn't move when I'm pouring in the celery juice. I like to take my spoon and just kinda hold that celery back while the juice comes out first. It just makes it easier and faster to strain. And so then I just take the spoon and go back and forth. That's gonna separate that rest of that juice that's mixed in with that blended celery. And you're just gonna do that until it gets kinda like a clumpy ball of celery. <laughs> So if you kind of smooth it out and push it down, that really helps the process to go faster just to get that juice separated. And when you're finished, you should have something that looks like this, just a ball of mushed up celery. I'm pretty sure it's really healthy. I just haven't figured out what to do with it yet, so I just throw it away. And you're left with this beautiful looking celery juice. And now we're gonna start adding in the fun stuff. I like to take my pineapple chunks and first I'll just open the can a little bit and pour in the juice just so all the chunks don't fall in there at once. And then we're gonna transfer the juice back into the blender cup. Next I'm gonna add in my blue agave. Sometimes I use raw honey, today I had blue agave. And like I said, I don't measure anything out. I just kind of squeeze it into my liking. I usually know <laughs> what I like and how sweet it's gonna be. And we're just gonna blend all that up just so it's all smooth and even. Next, I'm gonna add the actual pineapple chunks. I just like to get chunks instead of slices um, just because it's already broken up. It's just faster to blend. And like I said, I just kinda eyeball it. Maybe like eight pieces, a couple spoonfuls, and blend it all up. And lastly, I'm just gonna add everything to my mason jar because I'm usually on the go with this juice. And I will tell you that those pineapple chunks are gonna add like a pulp to the juice. So if you don't want that pulpy taste, just eliminate that step. Next, I'm gonna add my MTT oil, which is a really potent form of coconut oil into my juice afterwards. It just gives me energy for the day and I love this stuff. So that is it guys. That is how I prepare my celery juice every morning. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes because I hand strain. Eventually I'll get a juicer, but for now it's just me. I love my magic bullet. I can take my smoothies or my celery juice in the cup that I blend it in and just go. Or I can pour it in the mason jar like I do because if I'm gonna store it for a little while in the fridge, I'd rather have it in glass than plastic. Just makes me feel better and healthier. Um, but I love this recipe. It gives me so much energy. The celery and the apple cider 
vinegar is like a little bitter. So the pineapple juice and the pineapple chunks and the blue agave really makes it sweet and it's just fresh and delicious. It gives me a real energy boost for the day, especially with the MCT oil that I just started using about two weeks ago. I really feel the difference in my body and I have more energy by the end of the day. And I just love this stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you try out this recipe. Let me know if you add some things, take away some things. How do you make your celery juice? And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.